Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video. And this is the one against uh, six Schlitzes. Um, did a great job, both clans did a great job. Uh, basically, they got all the tens two starred, all the nines three starred, uh, so pretty standard stuff. We were able to get two of the Town Hall tens three starred, and then everything below uh, was uh, three starred, obviously, as well. Um, so great job, especially to our tens with the base building. Cause let me go back up. Um, it's not easy, especially for our you know three, four, and five, um, to build anti three star bases that can hold up in these arranged wars. But they did, and they did a great job. Um, and our tens on the other side did a good job with their attacks because um, two of these went for three stars, and you saw some of these other ones were pretty close too, um, pretty high percentage. So uh, awesome job to both clans. Very fun arranged war. And we'll take a look at a few of the attacks. Uh, I want to start off with the Town Hall 10 3 stars. This recap is going to be mainly Town Hall 10 attacks. Um, don't have any Town Hall 8 attacks, and Genesis just really isn't using many Town Hall 8s. Uh, we'll only use, we only have 8s in war when our opponent has 8s and we need to use them to match because the 8s typically just stay in uh, one hive alpha. So. For those of you guys that want to see the eight attacks, I'm I'm sorry, I'm not going to have that many. Uh, but when we do get an arranged war where we do use some town hall eights, I'll make sure I show quite a few of those. Might even dedicate a video to it or something. Uh, but it's not going to be that common just because uh, one hive genesis doesn't usually use town hall eights in war unless we need to match an opponent who has some. Anyway, though, like I said, this video is going to focus mainly on town hall ten attacks, starting with uh, plow taken on number one and getting the three star on a very high level base um, everything's max except like the king and a few walls but that doesn't really matter all the important stuff's uh, maxed out so it's, it's difficult to three star these bases but he just crushed this one uh, comes in here with a queen walk letting her walk down uh, taking out the first air defense right there and then she's going to continue on uh, just taking out some trash buildings so i'll go ahead and fast forward just because it's a typical queen walk you know just walking through uh, taking out everything in her path and then um, as soon as she turns this corner right here, she does get a little bit low, so goes ahead and drops that rage again. The sweeper was pushing the healers a little bit, and that expo's coming in range along with the archer tower and stuff, so good use of the rage there. But drops down this jump uh, to let the king get in there. I get to the inferno tower, get to the enemy queen, so get some good value from that. Uh, you can see she's taking out that second air defense, so very nice there. And then right here, there's the jump I was talking about, the golem few wizards than the king and the queen actually takes the jump too I'm not sure if that was intentional or if you wanted her to keep walking uh, but it worked out very nicely with the queen coming back in uh, the king's gonna get in there take out the enemy queen and then get in there and take out the inferno tower so it gets very nice value uh, just for the healers the golem and his heroes um, right there the, the poison also helps slow down the enemy queen and then the king uses the ability uh, gets her taken out gets in there gets the inferno uh, but already starting with the air attack Comes in with the Lava Hound, balloons, just targeting each defense. Very nice balloon deployment on this attack. Uh, you can see all these defenses going down at once. So, great deployment. Comes in with the next Lava Hound, more balloons, just kind of swarming the space. That queen is still up. Um, drops that uh, freeze, maybe a tad early, but not that big of a deal. Because uh, when, the, when the Inferno Tower wakes up, uh, you can see everything is kind of right on top of it. The rage helps get them in there. Uh, they get it taken out. And then that last air defense has two Lava Hounds just sitting on it. So it had plenty of tanking for his balloons. And you can see uh, one Lava Hound doesn't even bust. So awesome there. That the, the, the one does bust right there, but still has one that hasn't even broken up yet. So just crush this base. Has balloons just a drop for cleanup. Uh, just a ton of troops left up. Absolutely destroyed it. Awesome attack to plow. All right, uh, we're gonna take a look at, we are gonna look at that other Town Hall 10 three star in a moment, but first, wanna show uh, my attack on this Town Hall 10 because it got way more percentage than I ever expected it to. Uh, in this one, I wasn't really scouting for a Town Hall 10. I was just trying to get some good percentage uh, for the clan. And this is, you know, a, a maxed out base uh, with, well actually no, not maxed out. Some of the cannons and uh, archer towers. Yeah, so the, the point defense isn't maxed out. The walls are what fooled me. But anyway, uh, came in with a few balloons, a few minions just to get some percentage, create a funnel that I'll need later. Then I start my queen on the three o'clock position up here, dropping down a wizard just to create the funnel, push the queen uh, the, the direction I want her to go. 
Um, and in just a moment, I'll drop her down along with her four healers and let her start her walk. Uh, so, Giant, just a tank for the Archer Tower. A few wall breakers. Uh, gonna let her, the Queen, when I drop her, that I'll let her in. Uh, and then a Wizard just to help funnel her into that compartment so she doesn't walk around. I dropped those healers maybe a tiny bit early because they do get on that Wizard that was still alive instead of the Queen. Uh, but when that Wizard takes a few steps, it'll get out of range of the healers and go down. And then all four healers eventually go to my queen. So I went ahead and dropped the rage. Two point defense on her. And it was a good thing I did because the test the pops. So definitely needed that rage. She's going to take out all these defenses and keep moving. Uh, so getting great value for her. A lot of this stuff's in her range. She can get to those mortars, all those defenses in there. And then continue on her walk. Alright, so as the queen develops uh, at the bottom there, I'm going to start with some golems. A few wizards and then that one hog for the wizard tower. Just because nothing can uh, defend it. Gonna get a free trade there for the hog, and then like I said, the wizards create in the funnel. Um, right here, the air defense takes out a few healers, uh, just because they kind of got deployed in a weird fashion. But the other few healers um, end up being out of range. Drop the jump, the king, a few more wizards, and then the max Pekka from the CC. The goal was for the queen to kind of meet up and beat through this wall. Um, she is a little bit late. I kind of timed it a little bit too early on everything else, but she does get through and join up the, with the party. Uh, in just a moment. I'll drop that next rage to help everything keep moving forward. Uh, but all the wizards are still alive, doing a lot of damage, getting in there, taking out the defensive heroes, getting in there and get that next inferno tower. Then everything's going to continue uh, walking around. Worked out very nicely here because everything went off to the right, uh, that queen included, out of the range of the inferno tower. And two of those healers are still up so they can help heal everything. Still have a lot of golemites and stuff. Plus the queen's ability hasn't been used yet. So already at 54%, but everything kind of went uh, off to the right side, which has really worked out nicely because the Inferno Tower would have taken all that stuff out. But out of range of the Inferno, the, heal the healers can heal up the king and stuff. Drop down a few giants, a few wizards, just to get those builders huts. Pretty good percentage right there. They're all next to each other. Then things gonna are going to bust through this wall right here. I'll go ahead and fast forward because uh, they get through this wall and then went ahead and dropped a few more troops just to snipe some more percentage. The queen is still up. Haven't even used her ability yet. And then right here... Um, as she gets low, I pop the ability. She gets a few more buildings, then goes down, and everything kind of peters out. The king gets stuck on a wall, I think. So, very high percentage, 78%. Thought that was a cool attack. I was surprised how well it worked out, so wanted to show you guys it. Um, now let's move on to the Town Hall 10 3-star, which I was talking about, the other one that we got, done by Mimo. Um, coming in here, and the credit does have to go uh, in some part, in, or in some ways, to the Town Hall 9s that scouted the space because I think it was hit at least three times by Town Hall 9s, just perfecting the opener. I think even a few Town Hall 10s hit it as well. So this this base had been thoroughly attacked, I think like six or seven attacks on it by both Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s. So the plan was there, just had to get you know the perfect execution, and Mimo does it right here. Uh, drops in some minions to create the funnel for the queen. Also gets that cannon, so a nice bonus there. Uh, she is in range of that Inferno, but she steps out. Now drops a few wall breakers to let her out of this compartment. So entry wall breakers and exit wall breakers. Pretty standard stuff on a queen walk. And she'll continue on, and then she'll uh, eventually meet up with the kill squad. So he went ahead and, wa and dropped his quakes uh, on that nice junction right there to let everything keep moving through. The goal was basically to get in there, clear out the core, get the Inferno Towers, and even get all the way to that last air defense so we can drop those balloons because the air defenses are pretty tight into the center of the base so once they go down the balloons can target some of those outside defenses uh, so the plan's very nice comes in with the golems uh, just gonna let them uh, walk in here as soon as he wall breakers in has some wizards backing everything up and then in just a moment he'll let um, everything in with a few wall breakers uh, so here they go has the king obviously which he's waiting on and then has to deal with the CC troops but uh, no big deal. I think it's, yeah, just a dragon and a few archers. Uh, so has the poisons. They'll go down real quick. Drops a rage. Uh, very nice placement there. The queen can sit back and just take down all these uh, buildings, get the dragon down, let everything keep moving forward, and then just has three rages, so dropping them very liberally. Um, here come the golems. And these golems do quite a bit of damage uh, under rage. They can punch through some of these Teslas pretty quickly, um, quicker than you might think. Just now uh, uses the king's ability, so he's moving forward. Nothing's really dying, um, 
some attacks just work like that. It seems like nothing ever dies because uh, the Inferno Tower goes down real quickly. And there's still a lot of tanking out in front. Has the Queen's ability still. That air defense going down. And then those few balloons came in, just flanked uh, some of these defenses. They'll get that cannon taken out. Still has six balloons left. And that air sweeper's going down, so it's not going to be in the way. And then that one healer actually ended up making it, so it can help heal up those golems and stuff. But uh, yeah, last few balloons coming in, just excellent targeting. Uh, crushed this base inside and out. And this is going to be a three star, obviously. I'll go ahead and fast forward because cleanup has to happen, but still has a bunch of balloons up. And those golems haven't even busted yet, so it worked out very nicely. Awesome attack by Mimo. Alright, uh, two Town Hall 9 attacks. Not that focused on Town Hall 9s because you guys have seen a lot of them in the various videos that I've had. Um, but I'm going to show number six, and then we'll go all the way to the bottom. Uh, to the bottom part of the of the enemy clan for the other one uh, but we're looking at crazy moving taking on number six and doing a nice go vaho so it just drops in a giant uh, minion creating the funnel for the queen walk there's the wall breakers that will let the queen into the uh, compartment so more of a queen charge i guess you could say uh, this, there goes the queen the healers behind her uh, she'll just kind of make her way in on her own but uh, goes ahead and drops those minions in anyway to help her make sure she stays in there and doesn't walk out. Um, so Queen making her way in. Go ahead and fast forward just a little bit because uh, she does take a little while just taking out these defenses. Very slow moving. That one air sweeper is going to push the healers back and uh, you'll see that does have an impact in just a moment. Uh, but anyway she'll step up. The CC troops will come out in just a moment. Uh, she's almost in range. Just has to take down the wizard tower. Then she'll step up into the range of the CC. Uh, dragon and two balloons. And then right here has the rage, which you think might work, but doesn't have any poisons. Plus there's two point defense. So the queen was pretty clearly going to go down. Had to not use the ability, so had to use it. So maybe you could say the rage was a little bit wasted, but still getting some of the benefit of the rage because it is still there even after the ability is gone. So not too big of a deal there. Queen's going to continue uh, taking out defenses. Then comes in with a golem, a few wall breakers. I'm not sure why that golem didn't reroute. I mean, it looked like it's pretty close to that archer tower, but for some reason it keeps beating on that wall, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but comes in and has a few more wall breakers, actually. Uh, and then for some reason the golem decides it's time to uh, go ahead and go to that cannon. Comes in with the king as well. Uh, his queen takes out the king, does get a little bit low because the rage is no longer, um, it's been used already. But she gets the king taken out and she'll get healed back up. Then has a very nice deployment on the quake spells, opening everything on up. Heals up those Valks as they come in. They're going to get the Queen down real quick. Uses the King's ability. Um, just completely destroying this upper part of the base. Using a few Hogs just to flank these defenses. Because uh, everything's targeting the Valks and the Golemites and the King. Uh, very nice there. Queen is still moving through with the healers on her. There is that Tesla farm at the at uh, like the 9 o'clock position. But has that last heal for the Hogs. And they'll be fine along with the help of the Queen. And a few more Hogs on the backside. So very... Very nice attack by Crazy Moving. It's all clean up at this point. Everything's down. Has a ton of hogs left up. Uh, so crush this base. Fast forward. Uh, awesome attack to Crazy Moving. Way to get the three star there. Okay. Um, last one we're going to take a look at is number 33. Like I said, we're going all the way down um, to look at I Am Sparta. And uh, when you have these lower level heroes like Sparta does, um, you want to bring as light a kill squad as you can. You want to try to stick to one golem. Just because the kill squad, for the most part, is just trying to buy time for your heroes to take out as much of the base as they can. And when your heroes are this low level, the, um, you don't get much value for them. So you're better off investing your troop space into hogs, uh, which Sparta does very nicely here. Only brings that one golem because all he wants to do is get in there, take out the queen, and then there also ends up being a few Teslas, which are a bonus in that queen compartment. Uh, this is a fresh attack I checked. It's a first attack, so doesn't know where any giant bombs are. A little bit risky, but has to just use his hog deployment to try to avoid all the possible double giant bomb spots and let his hogs kind of make their way through the base. Drops down those wizards to create the funnel, uh, the golem. It is taking quite a bit of damage because there's the Teslas there. So goes ahead and drops in a few hogs, which was a great idea. The hogs get in there, help take out those Teslas, and then everything will make its way in. Goes ahead and uses one of his heals. Just because, you know, the, the, all four Teslas are there, it's worth investing some hogs in a heal uh, to get in there, help 
the heroes take it out because uh, that was quite a bit of damage coming at his kill squad. Um, anyway though, they take out this compartment pretty easily and then from here I'm just going to use his hog deployment to try to make sure he avoids as many double giant bomb spots as he can. Comes in here with just a few hogs in each of these defenses. That one possible spot on the top right was already uh, diffused I guess you could say by his hogs. There's a single bomb there but has the heal so all those hogs are going to be full health and keep moving. Um, they're going across another possible spot, but there doesn't end up being any giant bombs there, uh, so doesn't lose those hogs. But even if he did, he has a big group at the bottom here. They're under heal. It, it is all single bombs on this base, I think, so uh, just uses his heals right and uh, doesn't lose many hogs at all through this entire attack. They all meet up here for the last giant bomb. And then actually the fourth giant bomb is kind of by that wizard tower, so his hogs get really low here with the wizard tower and the giant bomb, uh, but they have just enough health to stay alive. And then even though they're very low, there's so many of them that the king can't take them out quick enough. He goes down, uh, still has both his heroes, just use their abilities now. Uh, so very nice there. I mean, didn't even have to use the king's ability, which is pretty surprising in these kind of attacks. I'll fast forward because this one is over. Awesome attack to I am Sparta. Um, sometimes it's fun to watch you know, these lower level Town Hall 9s because the game's a little bit different down there and maybe even a little bit harder for the attacker with those low level heroes so awesome attack to Sparta. Hope you guys enjoyed the war though um, I'll have some more videos coming out this week but I uh, wanted to get you guys the recap while the attacks were still in our war log so let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Bye Sectatron out.